Hello everyone, my name is Michael, I'm from Russia. And before we start, I would like to congratulate all the women here with tomorrow's Mother Day and tell you thank you. Um, today we'll talk about the lottery business and um, let's talk about the numbers first because I doubt that many of you know what's, how big it is. So the global lottery business is uh, over $300 billion and mobile lottery business is $60 billion and it's growing every year by 12%. So it's a lot of, it's a lot of money involved. And lottery business is controlled and owned by the governments. In every country, government controls the lottery business as a, as a monopoly. So government doesn't give much to the lottery business. From whatever ticket sales, only 50% goes back to the price fund. And the rest is given and the rest keeps the government. But not only that, is um, when you win some, when you win the jackpot, they tax you, and in some countries the taxes can, can go up to 60%. So at the end you end up getting only 20-30% from whatever money that were collected from ticket sales. Governments will never agree between each other to share this business and to make it global, why? because they don't know how to define their players and they don't want to um, share the profit. Um, and, but people all over the world play the lottery and the reason why they play the lottery is because you bet little and you can win big. And everybody has a dream, not to become super rich. Everybody has, not to, not, not to buy a castle or an old Rolls Royce. People have a dream to feed their family, to pay off their debts. Uh, to have their kids go to a nice school. So many of the people uh, would choose to pay off the debt, so for example, to spend money on your charity. But when we talk about the traditional lottery, we, we have a lot of problems there in this business. The first one is that there is a lot of fraud going on. We talk about big money, and when big money is involved, the human uh, usually do something to get this money. So it's a lot of fraud. For example, uh, we never know how much tickets in real were sold in the lottery or how RNG works. Or for example, uh, how much money actually were put into the jackpot or they can steal a winning ticket from you. Or people can fake a winning ticket. So it's a lot of problems that traditional lottery have and there is no way we can solve it or influence it because governments have a monopoly and they are not interested in that. So when we realized that how big the business is and that there was nobody who can, who tried to change it, we realized that the blockchain can, can do it. Um, you will ask me why and how, like how we managed to do that. So we built the first fully decentralized lottery platform, which is controlled and powered by blockchain, by smart contracts. There is no man involved. So we say that there is no man that can influence or government or company that can influence this lottery in any how. It doesn't belong to us anymore. It doesn't belong to the government or to the company. It belongs to the community that buy our tokens and have a share in this project. So it's a public lottery that can be run all over the world, uh, completely and fully built on Ethereum blockchain. So it's fully transparent, it's fully secure. It has no hidden fees. Um, and because we were managed, like because we eliminated the human factor from the lottery, we were able to uh, put more money into the price fund from the money we collect from ticket sales. Um, just a second, and I'll go to that. So we solved all the current business lottery business problems. We have a fair RNG that can and that anybody can check. If you buy a ticket, you buy an Ethereum using your crypto wallet. And why, when you buy a ticket, you sign up a smart contract that remembers your crypto wallet. And then when the draw takes place, uh, it matches the winning numbers with the numbers you choose. And if you win, it transfers money from the price fund automatically to your crypto wallet. And it's, and it's done uh, fully anonymous without man being involved. So all the process on the platform are run under the smart contract. And, um, Nobody has a chance to influence it. So it's really great. 
you might say that not many people not many people can have still have crypto wallets and not many people know what ethereum is but recently and i met these people here in this exhibition the company called for example wirex which presented a visa attached to a crypto wallet so now there is an easy solution where you can use your credit card your fiat money to pay for the lottery tickets but still you will play and win in the in ethereum and in order for you to in order to make it convenient for you we made a built-in exchange where you can do it easily you can register your wallet crypto wallet in one click and then buy some more ethereum and participate in the lottery so we are really changing the market and um, what we do here like um, as I told you, whatever from the ticket sales, 70% goes to the jackpot, 10% uh, go to the uh, token holders. It's a revenue from the platform. And we do have a security token, and we'll talk about it a bit later. 12% go to adver my advertising fund um, for the affiliate uh, white label MLM solution. 5% we spend on technical costs to make transactions and to pay fees for these transactions, and 3% go to legal part. So whoever invests in our project gets a, gets a commission of 10% from global ticket sales, which makes its token very profitable. And the commission is paid out in Ethereum because the whole platform works on Ethereum. So we expect people from all over the world to play our lottery without any restrictions, because it's already there. It's been launched on January 1st and no government can shut it down or nobody can influence it. So far, we have really nice partners that join our team. It's a Kiwi, it's a payment provider. It's very popular in CS countries and it has over 15 million uh, people registered. We have a Onex bet company, which uh, is the largest betting company on CIS market as well. It has over 3 million players and um, we provide fire law to the one expert on the white label solution. We have a law firm that uh, helped us to deal with SEC. So we, uh, uh, we have a SAFT agreement, we have a memorandum, and we informed SEC of our token. So when we'll start the ICO, we can officially deal with US market as well. We have a great team of advisors and you can find them on our webpage. We have closed the pre-sale with, well, it depends on the current cryptocurrency price, with around $5 million of investments and over 5,000 people invested into our project. And we have a great team of people who is making this project and every person has a little army of people helping him out. And if you ask me uh, what we do with the money we collect from the ICO, it's an, easy, it's an easy answer. We put this money into the jackpot because people play for the jackpot. So we want to make sure that the jackpot is going to be big enough for people all around the world to play it and enjoy the lottery. And once people play the lottery, it's going to, the jackpot is going to recover itself because 70% of the funds go back to the jackpot. So it's the, will that will, it's the will that we want to make start turning around. So why I'm here, why me and my team is here is because we're running the ICO soon. The ICO will start on March 15 and then on April 15. You can invest in this ICO, become an affiliate. And uh, we accept BTC, we, we accept uh, Ethereum, and we accept Visa and MasterCard for you to invest or become our partners. So uh, the token price will go up. Uh, by 10 cents. It will start from 50 cents on ICO. It will go up by 10 cents every week. And by the end of ICO, it will reach the amount of 80 cents. After the ICO, we have already uh, made arrangements with several, uh, I think it's the top, top, tw top 10 exchanges. So the token will be listed on exchanges as well. So you can become an affiliate partner, you can become a referral partner because our logic can be sold by referral. For example, if you have an, a lot of Instagram followers, you can connect, you, you can place a link to our lottery platform 
and have a share of 15% from all ticket sales that you provide directly to your crypto wallet. The same is done for the affiliate program on the white label, as I mentioned before. So the reason why we run ICO again is because we want to raise up the price fund. Thank you for your attention. I'll be glad to answer all your questions. Interesting. What's the hard cap? The hard cap is fifteen million dollars. Okay. Yeah, and the unsold uh, tokens will be distributed among the investors proportionally to the uh, to the amount they bought. Thank you. And I would like to mention one thing. Uh, you will, you pretty much will read a lot about different ICOs that are trying to build a platform uh, for gambling or for lottery, but none of them, if, if you will study closely will have a solution that works completely uh, on blockchain that is completely decentralized. And we managed to solve some technical issues, and that's why we're here. Hi there. Um, Diego, Ether Raffle. So does owning the Fire Lotto token pay out a dividend of any kind? Say it again, please. Does owning your token pay out a dividend? Yeah, we do. Yeah, okay. the, main, the main idea to own a token is to receive a share in the revenue that platform generates from ticket sales. Okay, so it's a security. It's 100% security. Okay. Yeah, we informed SEC, as I said, SEC, we informed about our token and we don't have a problem with that. Anybody else? We are on booth 32, so if you have any questions or you will come up with some questions, please join us there and I'll be glad to answer. Thank you, guys.